Red Hot Chili Peppers on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant. Hello there. Carl Pilkington. All right. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Uh, we, we might see a difference in Carl. He's a little bit shy. Um, there's someone here from the BBC filming this, part of that celebrity boxing thing. The fight, I think it's called, and they're, they want to get a little clip of this, so that we're gonna let them film for a minute and then they're gonna go away. Is that alright, Carl? Yeah. He doesn't wanna- he doesn't wanna be on camera, do ya? Do ya? I think it ruins radio, doesn't it? <laughs> do well, not for the people listening, it doesn't. Yeah, but it does because people are like, oh, that, he sounds like a bit of a looker. <laughs> what, you? Yeah. <laughs> and then they'll see it on the telly. And they'll go, God, yeah, he, he, you know, his head is round. <laughs> it is round though, isn't it? So. <laughs> Guess what? I got a call yesterday, um, you'll love this, Steve. Mm. From MTV. And, uh, I'm wondering if, um, they could screen test Carl. That's outrageous. I'm loving it. And I was going, yeah, and I come, I said, yeah, yeah, he's trying, I come down with him and I was, I was saying, what about this now? And they were, they were loving it. I called him and I went, oh no. I went, why not? He went, well, I'm looking at my reflection now in the mirror. He said, I, don't, I shouldn't be on the telly. What would you wear for your screen test, Carl? What kind of look would you try and cultivate? Because you've got to bear in mind that the audience out there, they don't know what you look like. So, would you be a snappy dresser like, say, Jonathan Ross, or would you go for your kind of street can't, can't, cash look? Can't right? wear a suit. Don't, you can't wear a suit? Don't hold it well. Uh huh. So, I'm <laughs> thinking, uh, I don't know, I'll prob probably wear my woolly hat, because that takes some years off me. <laughs> <laughs> it does, he looks about ten with a woolly hat on. Yeah. Okay. And, um, the, is it quite a cool woolly hat or has it got a bobble? It's charcoal, I'd say it's the in, in colour. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> and I'll probably wear me, uh, me anorak. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's going yeah. for the, he's, he's, he's going, going for, for glam. Anorak, he's right? going for quite a glam look. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, no one dressed for it. a jumble sale. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah. I'm not, I'm not that happy about it all, to be honest. You, are you gonna do it? You're not gonna do it? Well, I'm sort of stuck in the middle. Because throughout my life so far, <laughs> I've always just, I've never planned for anything, mm. right? It's just always happened. Yeah, yeah. The time, you know what I mean? Being in plays at school, never planned it, but when I did it, I went down a storm. It was a triumph, yeah, we all remember that. So, yeah. we, I, as I remember, you did Little Donkey. Did Little Donkey, yeah. And um, then later, someone was filming at the back. Was it your dad's mate? My dad's mate, well, yeah. Yeah, and on the camcorder, he listened to it back, watched him playing it. His dad says, just off camera, what does he say? I don't want to say it because I'm in charge of the show and I'd be irresponsible. He looks like a right twat. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, he gets I, I, home, I, I, watching no. that, and then here's his dad just off camera go, he looks like a right twat. <laughs> yeah, alright, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you worried about? You no, don't say that sorry, or the can word. I just interject, because I'm really worried about this idea of Carl being on MTV, because the problem is that, you know, let's be honest, Rick, I mean, we're, we're getting by the skin of our teeth, aren't we, really? It's yeah. only Carl that's keeping this afloat. Yeah. And if he gets on MTV and the world sort of gets a sense of him and they understand him, and, and he, he won't be ours anymore, we won't be able to control him, it'll be out there, it'll be in the public Well, that's, that's the thing, no, that's the thing, it, it, that's the terrible thing, though, isn't it? It's like, Carl is my pet. But mm. I realise I've got to release him into, into the wild, the wild. Sort of, and you know because I love him, I know he's got to go free. <laughs> sure, but I yeah. want to. It's like Kez. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> someone like... beat him to death, and we won't have to worry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll uh, have you on though. I'll have you on as a guest. Yeah. Yeah. Which, gets, which gets me on to something we've got coming up today. Oh right. yeah, he's got a new idea. Yeah. Right. Um, do you know? Like I've talked about ghosts, and we had that good discussion the other week walking to. Yeah. Piccadilly Circus Station. Yeah? yeah. And I was telling you about ghosts, and you were saying, Carl, don't be an idiot, and all that. Uh, spoke to a woman in the week, done mm -hmm. a little interview with <laughs> You've her. done a little interview? Done Brilliant. a little interview, two minutes or so, with okay. uh, with a woman who's who's got ghosts in her house. <coughs> so, uh... I look forward to uh, hearing that later, that sounds brilliant. Coming up later. Well, I'm gonna play a classic tune now. I've, I've just gone straight for it, I've gone for the jugular. This is Ziggy Stardust by David Bowie. Ziggy Stardust by David Bowie on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkerton. Carl's also nervous, we had a bit of shock last week, didn't you? Just a little bit. His, uh, his dad tuned in. To the show? Yeah. Um, and Carl's never told him that he actually speaks on the show, he just said, I just pressed the buttons, right? He's kept him from it. You used to do radio before and you never told him, did you? Mm. It's because of the little donkey incident. Yeah. When he went along to well, it. Was that the, the twat incident? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he's never told him since, but, but they've promised not to listen, haven't they? Well, my dad uh, my mum said to me, don't worry, don't be put off this week, because, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've, no. I've, I've told him he can't listen, but I hear my dad in the background kind of going, oh, Lex. <laughs> so, he might be listening. <laughs> so that's extra pressure. Yeah. Plus a camera crew in. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You but don't you know, like it, do you? Know, this is good training for MTV, cuz then he can watch you on TV. I mean, what's he gonna make of that? Oh. Yeah. Does he know you're bald? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You don't keep your hat on when you're with him and say, oh no, I'll just press the buttons. No, it's no. just, it's just, you know, it's like when, when I was in any plays, I didn't tell him. No. Um, any sort of parents' evening, I never gave him the note. Uh -huh. <laughs> really? Yeah. So then what did the teachers think? You were just an orphan? No, just on an off chance, um, my mate's dad spoke to me dad once, I think, and sort of said, oh, you got to school to see how, you know, your kid's doing. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> so there's a parents' evening, so he went- <laughs> He said what kid? He went to one, and that's when Mrs. Matthew said I'd never be a high flyer. <laughs> <laughs> Was she? Yeah. Well, I think we should call Mrs. Matthews and make her eat her words. <laughs> well, <laughs> ah, she would turn on to MTV when uh, I don't know that, like their their slamming session. Yeah, yeah. and they're, they're going, go, that's young Pilkington. <laughs> He's bald, but it's definitely him. I, I, I recognise that Willie Hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, did you see <laughs> Celebrity Fit Club yesterday? I missed it. I didn't watch any TV this week. The only what TV I watched was um, Are You Good in Bed. I already knew the answer. I what was it? Do you had to have to tick points. Yeah, yeah. Right. It was no. <laughs> <laughs> I was off the scale. <laughs> <laughs> well, talking off the scales, Rick Waller. Really? Is yeah. he off? What's well, on? what he did is he lost. He lost weight, and they couldn't believe it. And he had a big argument with Harvey, and they said go, never come back to it. Right? And then he got to weigh, and he'd lost sort of like ten pounds or something. Mm. And uh, they were really. They said you've been starving yourself, haven't you? And he admitted it. And um, <laughs> I thought he just wasn't wearing his underpants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, but he's, he was whinging all the time. He was wasn't. He was doing a press. He was going, "I've hurt my arm." He was going, "I feel sick." And he was going, um, and he was just lying all the time about whether he was doing the routine and what about what he was eating and stuff. And I thought, that's me with yeah, this celebrity like box. It is it because like it's sort of like. And they go, how's it going? Do you have another drink this week? I mean, I go, no. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't had a beer this week. No. <laughs> Did you do the exercise day? And I go, yep. Yeah, I've done all that. Done all that. Done all that. Yeah. And I try and get out of the sparring because it hurts because there's a man hitting me in the face for fun. Right. Because um, you know that's what boxing is. So, yeah, that is being that? hit. I yeah. I'm I like all you... the I like all the bits except the being hit. I don't even mind hitting someone. Right, I'm so you- I'd be willing to hit someone. Uh -huh. It's the getting hit that I don't like. Because I know you're a big fan of, um, like wearing the clothes, the sort of sporty gear. I'm I know looking you, you good, love, you, you look good and you've, but you've obviously spent they've, their they've, money. They've, they've given- no, 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 they gave that's me this free, to training. Charge. That, this was free so to know training. You, that's a perk you love. So, uh, And I know yeah. you like, um, kind of the, uh, the sort of various sort of nutritional drinks you've got to drink. I know you're a big fan of those. I love the protein shake because mm. it tastes like chocolate. Mm. You know what? I've put on a couple of pounds since <laughs> I've been doing this training. I think it is the extra meal and, uh, So you're adding the protein but not- out enough to, to take it off again. Yeah, but I, th I think I've, um, I have actually changed a bit. I've got a, a, an inch on my chest, but an oh, inch off my waist. So right. even though I've put on weight, uh, there must be a little bit of muscle happening uh -huh, uh -huh. somewhere. So I just, uh, just to, to, to recap there slightly, you're, you're, you're enjoying all the trappings of boxing. Yeah. But not the boxing. Not the getting hit in mm -hmm. the nose. Right. That's the one. And you are aware that that's what will, what, what will be happening during the, the actual fight? No, party. because that's... I've got a cunning plan. Okay. I'm gonna duck and dive. Just, yeah. And okay. bob and weave. Dance. Uh -huh. I'm gonna dance. Well, I read in the paper yesterday, I don't know how much truth there is, that, uh, Grant Bovey has recruited celebrity hypnotist Paul McKenna <laughs> to help him win. <laughs> yeah, So could I be don't true. know if that's a finish show. Cause I know you've got, haven't you got Burm, you've got uh, Spit the Dog. <laughs> I've got, got Spit a couple the... of ventriloquists <laughs> <laughs> and an impressionist on your side. <laughs> 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 I've got Pork Boy from Desmond. Yeah, exactly. Just yeah. getting me cheered yeah, in your corner. Mentally. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't know. It's all a bit of fun. What do you reckon, Carl? What do, you, do you think he's, uh, well, what, what's, the what's McKenna gonna be doing? Is like Grant Bovey gonna be turning into a chicken and. You know yeah, what I mean? he's, gonna, he's gonna do an Elvis impression. Yeah. And take <laughs> if I characters. say the right words. No, I think it's probably he's probably gonna just help yeah, him focus it's, and Yeah, and, exactly. Um, yeah, I, I think there's there's lots of sports psychologists out there at the moment getting people so I'm sure it's uh I'm sure it's valid. If it's true, I'm sure it's uh oh. fine. But um I've been I've been I've been getting tuned mentally learning how to hit. Yeah. That, that was my method. Eating and hitting. I think is. And do you work out to any of the music? I mean, do you put on the Rocky soundtrack? Because I know you've got um, no, a CD with all with music from the all five films, haven't you? No, we don't. It's all. It's. Um, I think they have the radio on down there, but you don't hear it. It's uh -huh. all you hear is people shouting, saying things like, "That's not like a fighter," and me going, "I'm not a fighter. Yeah, I'm a comedian." Yeah. And is it quite intimidating down there? I mean, do they? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they're nice people, but is I'm, it I'm like... getting used to it now. But it's it is it is, it is a different world, and I was quite scared, and I I didn't. When like... you say to do, I mean, is it like is it like they're gangsters? I mean, is it kind of? No, I don't no, mean that. I just mean no, is it got that feel? You know when you see it in films, they walk into those places and, you know, they're kind of, they're hard nuts and there's that feel like- Well, they're, I mean, they're, they're, they're all, you know, they're all ex-boxers and stuff, so yeah, yeah. But, I mean, but no, they're not, they're not, no, 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 that's not, that's not what I mean. I, I, I suppose it's like they're real men. <laughs> well, yeah, and, um, they, they, 
they don't understand, really, that I'm- I don't like getting hit on the nose. And they say, mm. well, no one gets hit on the nose. And it took me a long time to get over that, just- just taking a couple of punches. Yeah. I- I wanted to rule it out. Yeah. And, uh, um, but, you know, it, it's okay now. And, and of course they're- I know they're mollycoddling me, they're not- they're yeah. using about 25% power, uh, yeah. and I'm still- And I'm you wear the headgear, do you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and the gum shield, yeah. I wanted to wear a crash helmet, <laughs> right, but they yeah. said no. And carry a baseball bat, and they yeah. said that's- that's technically <laughs> illegal. <laughs> but, um, I'm looking for- I'm a changed man, Carl. What we got coming up? Got a bit of a, uh, death in Vegas with vocals from Liam Gallagher. Final right? question for you, Rick. Do Go you on. think you'll carry on boxing after <sighs> this is finished? Competitively? No, 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 just the training and stuff. Yeah, and I, I do, do the you training. Think so? Yeah, no, I love the, I love the training. I love learning the, the skills and I, and I do enjoy the training. I don't, I, I don't relish getting punched around. And, I, and I'm not worried about the fight at all. I'm really looking forward to the, the fight because, um, Grant's a novice like me. It's just when you get in with an ex-pro who you know could destroy you <laughs> yeah, any- yeah, yeah. So you're scared to hit him. And, and, you know, they never lose their rag and they're really cool and they're really nice and they've never act- they've never even hit me by mistake. But even just tapping you like that in the yeah. face hurts. I just- I was walking down Finchley Road and a couple of sixth formers said, oh, you lanky gog-like freak. And I just wondered if maybe you could pop <laughs> round and have a word with them. <laughs> yeah, I will. I'll I'll will. Some of your friends. No, yeah. Uh, an enemy of yours is an enemy <laughs> of mine. <laughs> Good. Scorpio Rising, Death in Vegas on XFM 104.9. Steve, mm -hmm. I'm Ricky Gervais. Carl, Carl's a little bit more, less stressed now. The ca camera crew have gone, his dad's not listening, we think. Well, uh, yeah, who knows? Mm. Who knows? But, uh, you're chilled. I'll tell you what though, me, uh, my mum was loving it. Do you, know, do you know Rockbusters? I love- do I know Rockbusters? Sure. I love Rockbusters. She's, I think uh, I dream of it. She was taking part- I mean, she doesn't know a lot of the, the new bands and that, mm. but she, uh, she made some up for, uh, some older bands and that. Oh, she- she did some herself? She made some herself, sent them in the post. So are you gonna use those today? Um, she's not quite got the hang of it. Okay. So, oh, no, unlike- unlike a genius son. Have you got them there? Can we hear what they well, are? You keep talking a second then. I'm quite excited. I mean, if they're- if they're even approaching, say, the genius of Wet Knee Houston. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Uh, there was another one which was something to do with a trench, Carl. What was that? I oh, that was Dandy Warhols. That was a good one. Dandy Warhols. That, I think yeah. that was his. That, that was, was his finest moment. Yeah. yeah. Incidentally, I've got an email here from uh, someone called Sauda, if that's a he or a she, but let's assume it's a she, just for uh, glam sake. Yeah. Um, she said she saw an old man eating a Twix last week, Carl, so that blows your theory out the I'm not having it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are a bloke, he's calling you a liar, so maybe you want a little rumble later. In fact, if you are a bloke, he's calling you a girl. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, Alan. Um, these are ones that my mum's made up. Um, Brilliant. Right, just in case you're a new listener, I'll give some initials out and a cryptic clue. Mm. And- and it makes up a band, doesn't it? Yeah. Or a solo artist. Yeah. Or a solo Not artist. so much cryptic as what- what- what you're thinking. But well, go on. Uh, my mum sent this one. Uh, this group would be good at doing your hair. <laughs> this group would be good at doing your hair. TP. Uh, is there- is there a group called the hairdressers <laughs> from the 60s? This group would be good at doing what? your hair. TP. 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 Is it the something? The platters. The platters. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, alright. Yeah, so that's- that's alright. Nice. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, this group sound like dinosaurs. You sound like dinosaurs. T Rex. T Rex. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. They're not so much cryptic, are they? Uh, this group. Don't leave her alone. They're good. This group <laughs> likes being uh, by the sand and the and the sea. <laughs> this group likes being. By the sand <laughs> they're the Beach Boys. By Beach any Boys. <laughs> 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 this band are called the Beatles. Uh, the Beatles. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> we just have just uh, have a. a <laughs> What else you got? Um, <laughs> it's oh, funny cause, cause one of them that she's done, I'm actually doing today, I thought of in the week. Right, so. is it the same clip? Uh, it was, yeah. Wow, well, well, great minds think alike, so this last is obviously one. coincidence. Here's a last one from a- This guy sounds superb. <laughs> this guy sounds superb. The Bachelors. Glenn Campbell. <laughs> 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 That's good. I like that. I think I'll tell you this. I think you should get onto one of the big game uh, organisations, Parker Brothers or whatever, because this has got to be. T I mean, this could sweep the nation at Christmas. Don't you think this is the perfect Christmas <coughs> game? Yeah. Well, I think this is what's going to make or break the MTV thing. Right. <laughs> Some kind of TV version. Yeah. Uh, I'm just yeah. thinking mm. into ad breaks, you know, coming up next is this band. Be careful though, Carl, because, you know, make sure you retain the rights, because I can see this selling abroad. You yeah. Know, you and I can America. see someone coming along and taking the sort of like the, the, the rock busters and changing one word and like another name, like another game out of it and just what using the same format. What I don't know, I don't know, uh, I don't know, 
I can't think of them there, but they could change. So it's sort of like they change the word rock to something else and have it. What could it be? Brick block. Yeah, and so you have to. Do you know what I mean? So be careful. Blockbusters will never work. Look at his little face. So, uh, so yeah, so we're doing that later. Got some good prizes. Okay, we'll talk about the prizes later. Yeah, yeah. Um, educating Ricky. Yeah, got that. We've got the woman who's got a ghost in our house. Yeah. It's a shame she's not here live because I feel like I want to ask a few questions, Rick. I don't know about you. Don't uh, worry, I've covered it all. You've covered it all. Go on. Yeah. So yeah, play a record. Rick, um, I know probably you like me are just too busy really to keep abreast of new music, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, we're busy people. We've got you know important showbiz pirates to go to and stuff. That's why I have friends of mine who send me compilations and stuff. That's one of my yeah. uh, quarterly compilations from my friend Harry, and that's all downhill from here by Jim O'Rourke. I've got a new track coming up later, actually, that oh, I think you might like. So uh, you know, Thanks, we're we're um. We're inflaming each other's desire for new <laughs> songs as well as going back to the back Into catalogue the of some classics. Sure, sure. All sure. right? <laughs> I love adverts better though. <laughs> so I do. I love adverts. It's weird. <laughs> Missy Elliott on XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais with me, Steve and Carl. Mm. Carl, why have you got a headache? You got a headache? Just a bit stressful because the moves, moves on this, uh, this week. Oh, you're yeah. moving house? Oh, by the way, uh, the XFM listeners came round to my house and bought the, uh, food on the table. Did they? Well, they're happy with it. Quite normal. They were well happy. Yeah. Couldn't believe the luck with it. What do you mean quite normal? What do you mean quite normal? Well, it's always a bit scared, isn't it, getting, getting people round. I imagine they were scared. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and were they excited to see you? Could they, I mean, they were, you know, could you tell that they were pretty pleased to see you? No, I don't think so, I mean. You know, you're Carl Pilkington. Yeah, but I, uh, the, the fellas sort of, I mean, they brought the whole family round, which was a bit odd. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not often they get the chance to, to visit a living freak. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, no, uh, they, were not, they were nice. They were and nice. you're moving now. Uh, he said he phoned me up today. You know, it was absolutely tipping it down. <laughs> he had to cycle in. Because <laughs> he said, because of the movie, he doesn't want to leave his bike around there. <laughs> and he said, <laughs> said, and uh, Suzanne, oh, I can't say this in case he's listening, can I? He won't know, will uh, he? He said, said Suzanne's hired the oldest removal man in <laughs> London. You should hear him. <laughs> and the thing is, right, we uh, booked him, we booked him because everyone else happened to be booked out, but this fella's free, right? <laughs> so he called up this morning, <laughs> I've never spoke to him, but he was on the phone, he sounded about 90. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't think that he's gonna have to do all the work. <laughs> and, the, and the thing is, right, <laughs> We, well, it, it seems he to be cheap. He wanted some Werther Originals. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. listen, <laughs> it seems to be cheap because it's fifty pound an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but how long is it going to take him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so, genius. When, when's the move on then? When's the end? <laughs> oh, well, he's coming round. He came round today to bring some empty boxes, and he was struggling with them. <laughs> 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 so, uh, oh, it, it actually oh. happens on Wednesday. Oh, God. Anyway, oh. so, um... Rick, I noticed that you were laughing and almost <laughs> had a heart attack. <laughs> doesn't bode well for the boxing match, does it? I can't for the moment, and I? I've had my limbs it. Anyway, what are we doing now, Carl? Well, oh. um, I teased you with it before. Mm. Um... <coughs> are you gonna get it out again? I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm always like trying to get you, you know, thinking, opening, opening your mind right. up a bit to, to <laughs> ghosts and stuff. Yes. So, um, this woman who I know, she, uh, she said she'd come in and I could interview her to try mm. and sort of, you know, get the belief out there. Okay. Um, so yeah, I there's I'd not enough belief in the occult and rubbish out yeah. there. So, so does she, she think she has a ghost? <coughs> <coughs> she has, yeah, she's, she's, a, a, she's had a She has, no, it's fact. <laughs> yeah, no, it's so, yeah, she has. So I thought maybe it's a new feature we could try for a couple of weeks, see how it goes down. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know Parkinson? Uh huh. What about Pilkington? <laughs> Welcome to, uh, Pilkington. Thank uh, you. My guest today is Taryn, she's a plugger. Uh, you're still a plugger, aren't you? No, do co-management. Right, now. she does co-management, but she was a plugger, she looked after Therapy, Raging Speed on Slash, all the big names, yeah? Um, but we're not here to talk about music today, we do a lot of that on XFM. Today we're talking ghosts. Now, Ricky and Steve, who I do the show with, they, uh, they're not having any of it. So, I said, well, I know someone who, uh, you know, gets on with ghosts, there's a lot of them. Um, so I thought I'd get you in today, have a little chat for a couple of minutes, uh, just to sum up the story so they get an idea of what happened. Um, you had a horse, yeah? 
you had it in some stables. Yeah. He hasn't there to speak yet. Uh, you went to, like, look after it and that, play yeah. around with it, take it for a ride and that. Riding, yeah. yeah. Um, two of your mates were in the stable where your horse is. Not my stable, in the opposite but stable. In the opposite stable. And I heard them giggling and They're messing about and that, yeah. You heard them having a laugh. So you thought, right, what are they up to? So you go in and they're messing about with a Ouija board. Yeah. Right. So this is where you come in. Did you get involved with the Ouija board? Unfortunately, I did. Right. And what happened then, then? I was like, oh, you don't believe in this. Oh, let me have a go. Right. And, uh, ask a few questions, put our hands on, and it actually started moving. So a lot of the stuff you asked it, has that, did the things happen that yes, you asked? Yes, they did. Right. So that's scary for a start, right? We haven't even got to the ghost beat yet. So you mess about trap with that. Trap soul, yeah. I like to call it. Right, him. trap soul. So you're messing about on the Ouija board, you say, right, I've had enough of this now. Yeah. I've got all the answers I need. Yeah. You go home. I didn't like them. <laughs> you go in the house and it's a bit nippy. The house, the flat is absolutely fine. It's when I went into the bedroom. You've got to remember, it's a very, very warm, hot evening. Right. And walk into the bedroom and no, note it is cold. Colder than usual. But I'm actually quite glad because it's so hot. Right, okay. Completely ignored the fact that the windows were all shut but the curtains were blowing. Didn't sleep well at all. Right. Next evening, same again. Freezing. Yeah, Wind. very, very noticeably cold. Curtains blowing. Yeah, I'm fast asleep, get woken up, the wardrobe's opening. So at this point, this is where we clear up, you're not, you're not on crack, you're not- No, never touched drugs in my entire life. You're not a drinker? No. Um, I have the odd glass of red wine. Yeah. Right, that, that's, that's all right. They recommend that anyway. They say it's good for your heart. What started happening was, as the week progressed, I also felt the bed covers at one point at night fold over, double bed, the bed covers fold over, and it was like someone was getting in the bed next to me. But you've got to remember, when you're in a deep sleep, yeah. you're not quite thinking, and you're thinking, I'm losing it. <sighs> I was getting more and more tired, more and more a little stressed, and really thinking I was having a breakdown. The final straw was when the clothes on the end of my bed that I just throw hit me. How come you were going back home at night? Because I was sceptical. In fact, six months ago I just said, I, I don't want to go there, people will think I'm mad. But you know what? I don't care. Yeah. I know there's more out there. Well, brilliant. Well, cheers for that. And, uh... Thanks for being a guest on, uh, on Pilkington. Incisive <laughs> investigative journalism there. I like the fact that you've learned a lot from Parkinson, even stealing some of his questions, like, are you on crack? Which <laughs> yeah, I know he always yeah. asks his guests. Yeah, yeah. I like the fact that when she went, I don't know, I have the occasional red one, he goes, well, that's all right for you. Good for your art. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. It was brilliant. Although that is I the feel... best interview technique I've ever heard anywhere. I, I feel like there's still some questions unanswered. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't proved it to me, I'll be honest, <laughs> no, Carl. It hasn't proved me the existence of, of ghosts I have to say, that I was, I was worried as soon as she got involved with the Ouija board. I yeah, 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 I was yeah, thinking, please yeah, do not get yeah, involved with that Ouija yeah, board. Yeah, 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 I was worried when said I heard some giggling from coming from the other stable. Yeah. Don't yeah. go over there. <laughs> yeah. Don't go over there. <laughs> it's, uh, what, uh, questions did she ask the Ouija board? You didn't ask her that, I noticed. She didn't, she didn't want to. She didn't want to say. No. Okay. Do you think it was something like why that you did to try and confuse the computer mm. and the spirit world got mm. really annoyed and they yeah. got confused and they came back and started messing up her clothes? <laughs> but what what do you think then? There's, there's what do you mean? What well, do you mean? What do I think? What do you think? Do you what, know what, what, I mean? what, what about what? What? There's, there's nothing I can answer there. There's nothing I can answer. All right. She said. Well, she... I just keep saying I don't believe in the existence of ghosts because of the impossibility. Right now, when she said, I mean, the interview I did for fifty minutes. You did for how long? Fifty minutes. Fifty. But five thought, minutes. Yeah, we might use that Christmas or something, right? <laughs> um, but the thing is, well, that's right? the best you got out of fifty minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, they're no, the highlights. No, I'll be honest. <laughs> it, MTV are not going to call again. I tell you what, right? It did get a bit dark, and uh, I didn't want, I didn't want that Don't sort of stuff going out. Right? Saturday afternoon. Yeah. But um, I can, I can understand the heating thing. I said, well, you know, in the full interview, I was saying, you know, that could, that could be anything, could it? Heating broke or something. Mm. Mm. Now, she said the, the, uh, what else was she talking about? Someone got into the bed next to her. Yeah, I mean, I sort of said, well, um, you know, 
how did that happen? Yeah. And she couldn't explain it herself, but sure, I said, sure. but, but it did wake you up. Maybe you're mm. a little bit sort of, oh, but yeah. still Although tired. the only explanation I can think of, if she didn't actually see anyone, is whether it was a ghost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well that She's was probably got a ghost but getting what, in But what about cupboards opening and shutting? See, that's, that, again, the only explanation for that is a ghost. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I can't play think of anything else. Play a record. It's gotta be a ghost. Yeah, it is ghost. I think you've proven it to us. Yeah. A spirit. Yeah. Street spirit? Yeah. Nice. Whatever. Yeah. Street spirit. Radiohead. So, turns out ghosts do exist <laughs> yeah. after all, Steve. A woman what Carl knows proved it. I've got egg on my face. Yep. On XFM. Instantly, Rick, I should got just got encourage you and everyone else listening. I really have got egg on my face, is that what you're gonna say? Yeah, I've just been <laughs> eating an omelette. James Randi, a yeah. hero of yours and a hero yeah. of mine, yeah. he's on TV this week on Horizon, I think it's maybe Thursday, check press for details, trying to expose the nonsense that is homeopathy. Oh yeah, I saw that, yeah. So, uh, I look forward to that. Do you know what that is, Carl? Oh, go on. Um, they've got a theory that, um, if you, say, say you've got something, uh, 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 an essential oil or something or, uh, uh, in a solution, uh, one in ten solution, and it does something to you, actually does something to you, um, they've got this thing where they dilute it, dilute it to, to there's nothing in it, but because they're using the same water and the, 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 the dilute, the water still has the same effect. It's sort of like, it's sort of like a placebo that you know works. Well, you know, that's the sort of theory of it. Mm. What time's that on? <laughs> uh, check the papers, but I think it's, uh, sort of nine o'clock Thursday, something mm. like that. Mm. It'll be interesting though, Carl. It will be interesting, mate. Trust me. I'll tell you what's also interesting, Rick. The prizes we're giving away this Go week on, on uh, Rockbusters. We got for you, uh, David Attenborough's The Life of Mammals. I don't know, is this a new show? Is this on TV at the moment? Is this like yeah. anything? Uh, so that looks good, it's like a, a double VHS thing there. Um, we've also got a U2, the best of their, um, 90s videos. Uh, even better than the real things on there. Mysterious Ways, Beautiful Day, Electrical Storm, the new one. Stuff on there, that's on the video. Uh, we've also got a couple of CDs, The Smashing Pumpkins. I think this is sort of alternative versions of a lot of their hits and stuff, live yeah, versions live and, stuff and, and stuff like this. Johnny Cash's current album, possibly his last, uh, we don't know because apparently he's, he's not very well at the moment. So, uh, an uh, album of covers. Yeah, well not all covers, some of his new stuff as well, oh, but he's done, uh, covers of things like Personal Jesus by Depeche Mode and mm. Desperado, um, and Bridge Over Troubled Water. And the great thing about Cash is I read an amazing review where it says it's like he always makes them his own, do you know what I mean? It's like you can't even remember the old version. But Desperado by the Eagles. By the Eagles, yeah. Uh, could I, I'd like to play that, just yeah, to hear well, that, because uh, I haven't heard that, we'll play we'll that and then give it away. These are actually good prizes, Carl. We've also got, um, uh, including a small, uh, miniature three-wheel car, uh, an Only Fools and Horses video. I think this is the, uh, special that was on Christmas TV last year. So if you're one of the, uh, the people who didn't see it, I mean, wasn't it like 22 million people yeah, watching? Yeah, ridiculous, yeah. If you're one of the people who, you know, desperately wants to see it again, I know I do. And, 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 <laughs> and, and wants a small yellow car. And what also wants a small in. yellow car. Then, uh, then there it is. And, uh, also, another of these, um, compilations, arbitrary compilation albums, the best chill-out album ever, Rick. Sure. Um, if you're a fan of the Levi's Freedom ad, I then love the <laughs> Levi's Freedom ad. Then, uh, the track that's- I hate the music to it, though. No, no, well, that's a shame, because <laughs> it's, it's, got, it's included <laughs> on here. <laughs> Rick, how much do you love the Volvo TV advert? Love it, love it. Cause that's Hate a, the music again though, why? That's a shame because that, oh, is it, that oh, track is the music. Oh, okay. Sure, sure. But there's also sure. stuff on here, there's some interesting stuff, there's Pink Floyd, sure. there's Coldplay, there's Roy Scott, so um, you know, it's probably worth it. I love Pink Floyd. Except the music again. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's a bit of a bind for me. That's a whole heap of treats there, And, that, and, and the, that's the winner of Rockbusters. That's the winner of Rockbusters. Coming up after the adverts. Okay. Yeah. Doves, caught by the river on XFM 104.9, we're into the second hour now. This is when this award-winning show really kicks into gear. The when last you say hour. award-winning, uh, we, we haven't won them yet. I mean, it, uh, it, we will win some. Hang on, let me remind you. Uh, listen, there are bronze in the Sony Awards. Oh yeah, we got a bronze. We, we got, got a bronze. I don't, it doesn't think count. That counts, no. no, it doesn't count. Doesn't count. Um, uh, I'm Ricky Gervais, obviously, with me, Steve Merchant, and Carl Pilkington, which is uh, what Heat write about, really. Uh, Carl's the main man. Think of Carl a year ago. He was just sitting in that room, going, "All right, all right, I've done this." <laughs> XFM. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a music bed. Brilliant. Comes on the show, we start taking the piss out of him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. People start going, oh, who's the, who's the idiot you've got in? And we go, it's Carl. And they yeah. go, we like him. He's a, he's a fool. I go, yes, he's a fool. He's a pet <laughs> buffoon. And they go, we'll let him speak more. Right? And they're going, don't let him talk, don't let him talk, XFM, the, the fat cats. Oh. And I said, I'm a rebel and I'll do it my way. Rick, I asked, did you stick it to the man? Yeah, I yeah, yeah. And then MTV call up. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. heat of writing about him every week. Yeah, he's just been f doing film for the BBC. There's some rumours he's he might be the new James Bond. Is it? Yeah, yeah. He's got he's, uh, he's got is he in lovely McVitie's original digestives? Are we allowed to? Can I? Uh, if McVitie's are listening, I love these biscuits. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And uh, and he's got the best. If, if the Spearmint <laughs> Rhino <laughs> strip clubs are listening, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> right. And he's got rockbusters to come. Yes, Let's do it. I should just ask the, the few people who asked me this, uh, and there's also an email here from Rich. People are saying they've seen some of the posters and the adverts of uh, advertising the show, plugging the show. Why isn't your? Why aren't you on the posters, Carl? And it is your choice, isn't it? We did ask uh, Carl to be involved, but well, he, he is actually. It's he like refused to do where's it. Waldo? He's actually. <laughs> he's, he's, there, he's, he's, he's in my trousers. <laughs> 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 they're, they're Look, you don't like having your photo taken. No, you don't want. You don't. You don't. You're not seeking the publicity. No. I reckon you good are. Good good I don't believe you. No, are. he's right. He's totally right. He's doing it just right. But I think there's a, there's a fine line to be drawn that you know if if you like being in you know around radio, you've got a, and you, you want your own show or, or you enjoy talking and they just happen to be filming you for MTV. That's different. I think what you just avoid is going to silly celebrity bashes, having your picture taken for the sake of it. I mean, I think you're right, but. I think you should do the screen test. On a serious note, I think you should do the screen test. Just because it might be fun, and if it's no good, they won't do it. And you can stop any time you want. Yeah, no one I has to keep I'm going on telly. I just think we're going to lose him. No, no. We won't lose him. Listen, right? I'll always be part of this. <laughs> I just worry that you're gonna get, you're gonna exhaust yourself. You're gonna be drained. You're gonna have told all your anecdotes. He, on he MTV. certainly will have to, uh, if you have to help the old fella upstairs with the yeah, bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifty pounds an hour. Oh, that's well, terrible. Go on. But, so, but I'm, I'm, what I wanted to do, right? Because. I don't want to embarrass myself, right? Mm. I don't want to embarrass the woman at MTV when I turn up and she thinks, oh, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> what a waste of film this is gonna be. Cause it's not cheap. I know sure. that. It's not film either, but go on. Well. It won't be. It is cheap. It is cheap. They're, they're, they're filming on a DV camera that they can go over. Uh, if it's no good, they won't show it to anyone. It'd be great. It'd, they, it's just what they want you. Honestly, I can just see you doing little things, just like popping up, you know, between the records and going, all right. Uh, MTV, uh, music television. Uh, hear about the airy Chinese kid born, which is weird, isn't it? Because they're not usually airy. And it just goes <laughs> MTV. It'd be brilliant. It'd be brilliant, Carl. Yeah. If I, I'll come down with you, I'll come down with you. Well, we'll see. We'll, Go on. We'll think about it. Right. Go on. Um, right. Rockbusters. So rockbusters. Um, we, you know, it's a little clue, some initials, three different clues. You email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. You can win the, the load of stuff that we've got. So, um, first one, um, here's the clue. Stop throwing that fruit about. Oh, Ooh. Yeah. And what's the initial? That's CB. 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 Stop throwing that fruit about. Yeah. Right. Is Anders listening? Has he emailed us in yet? Anders, not had, a, not had any response from Anders. I'll keep uh, keeping. I hope he hasn't stopped listening because right. he doesn't like the show. He's gone off. I hope he hasn't gone off the show. <laughs> so so uh, the second one, um, that Scottish fella has made an error. That Scottish fella has made an error. Yeah, that's Interesting. that's M. M. Right, right. that Scottish fella has made an error. Right. Okay. And uh, the last one, uh, God, you can make a right load of toast with them. <laughs> you can make a right load of toast with them. Yeah. All right. What's the and that's, there? that's G. G. I was thinking it might be bread for a minute, but no. Mm. G. So, uh, so just very quickly, stop throwing that fruit about, CB. <laughs> I've got, I've got the last one. All right. Scottish fella. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't count. Doesn't count. Well, that Scottish fella's made an error. That's M. And uh, God, you can make a right load of toast with M. That's G. Email in Ricky Gervais at xfm dot uk, and you can. We've got the CDs. We've got horses. We've got mammals on VHS. We've got U two. Uh, we've got a couple of CDs, including Johnny Cash. Here's a new tune from a, a, a new fella called Papa Garcia. See what you think of this. Uh. See if he was on MTV. I couldn't say his name. Why? What is it again? Papa Garcia. Right, here's a new one from Papa Garcia. Brilliant. Uh. <laughs> Papa Garcia, Natalie and Nusi from uh, the forthcoming album Bring Me the Head of Papa Garcia. Catchy that. Mm. Quite retro. It's a bit of a bit of Alton John and all sorts of yeah, thing, yeah. Yeah, lovely. Um right, here we go. Quick clues again. And then uh, we better do uh, educating Ricky. I, well, this is the favourite bit of my sh the show for me now. Educating Ricky. I love it. I can't. Well, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. S I'm well, an anxious all week. Well, just quick, quickly on those clues, just in case people need to know again. Uh, stop throwing that fruit about CB. That Scottish fella's made a bit of an error. M. And uh, God, you can make loads of toast with M. That's uh, G.
Oh, right. brilliant. Ricky.gervais <laughs> at xfm.co.uk. It's email only. Oh, yeah. I need some learning. I need some knowledge, Carl. Right. Educate me. I might be able to help you. Go uh, on. Uh, we've got three things, as always. I'll give them a little, uh, mm. head into tease you uh, yeah. as to which one you want to learn first. Yeah. Uh, first one is, uh, is the tip included? Is the tip included? Mm. Like it. Um, second one, I want to come here in hindsight. Mm. I wouldn't have come here in hindsight? Yeah. Okay. And the third one, am I gonna have to thump you? Am I gonna have to thump you? Mm. Okay, and you've trolled, what, the internet? So I, 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 so I, so if I can get into the mindset of this plan, uh, is the tip included? Well, obviously, that's probably not gonna be about a waiter. It's gonna be like, is it that, if that's someone losing the end of his knob, I assume, um, am I gonna have to thump you? That's a man who lost his arm in a fight but then picked it up with the other arm and smacked <laughs> him with it. Um, what was the middle one? I want to come here in hindsight. Hindsight. Hind. Hind's right. sight? It, yeah, uh, it, yeah, it, someone was blinded by baked beans. Sure. So what are you going for then? Uh, I think I'd better go for, um, am I gonna have to thump you? Alright, well this isn't- I've been struggling again, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, searching high and low for stuff and, and some of these I had to leave till this morning. So right, because okay there's just not morning. enough knowledge out in the world, is not there, that is you don't on. know about? I found out about something in the week about a guy who, um, uh, was playing tug of war. This is bonus material, <laughs> isn't it? He was playing tug of oh, war. Oh, uh, his arm came off. He's, only his arm came off. Yeah, he got caught up in the rope, yeah. No, 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 he didn't. He didn't get caught up in the rope, he just was trying that hard and didn't want to lose. He kept holding But he allowed it. his arm to be pulled off? He really wanted to win. And well, the other no. team- the, the other team pulled it and his arm come off. No. Well. I don't know who to believe. Well, uh, think about it. If he's gripping, yeah. As soon as there's tension, like the 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 arm coming out of the socket, the hand might release. I think his arm got caught up in the rope, and so it was involuntary, as opposed to him going, "Well, my arm's coming off, but I'm not going to lose this." <laughs> <laughs> you might be anyway, right. That's the, that's the fact. That's a bonus. That's a bonus fact. Yeah, well, that's uh, educated me. Well, a man lost his arm. Oh, interesting. Go uh, on. Um. Oh, am I gonna have to thump you? Yeah. Do you know the saying, uh, shut your face? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, funny? I've heard the well known Shakespeare, innit? Yeah. Do, you know, do you know how it came about? Uh, no, Joe Dolce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, go on. It's, uh, ages ago. Oh, yeah, literally, <laughs> literally. <laughs> like, uh, knights who wore armour. Okay. That's, uh, am I gonna have to thump you? That's how it came about. Okay, armour. Um, right. um they, they wore all the stuff and they had the helmet and say if they, they guarding something at night, mm. stood outside a castle or something. Yeah. And there's probably gonna be two of them, mm. right? So they stood there talking and that <laughs> and, uh, talking about stuff and- The future. Sort of, what, yeah, medieval what, stuff. One yeah. of them, one of them's like, oh, I wish I'd shut up, you know, I've been stood here for hours and he's going on and you on. Get, yeah, sure. So he'd say, shut your face, meaning- Shut the guard down on your helmet. The visor. And I can't hear you then. Uh-huh. So shut, shut your face. Shut your face. And that's okay. How, that's how it came about. Well, I God. suppose that's- It would be interesting if I could just rely on it as I'm not sure it's true, I yeah. know, I just never know, I can- <laughs> It needs to be cooperated. It's like, I don't know where he got it from, but anything via Carl mm. is- Precarious. Yeah, I mean, I feel like maybe you should give us your sources next time. You know, tell us where I you know, got I'll tell you. from. Got it off the internet. Yeah, but where on the internet? I can't remember where that one was. I mean, I, I, I always go through like the news pages and stuff, and I-, I, I This news should be updated because <laughs> they've only <laughs> reached the 17th century, <laughs> which is last week with people eating, um, tomatoes no, off no, lead plates. No, but then I look at news and there was stuff about a woman who was in a shop and she, um, I don't know, some- they had some workmen in, workmen in doing the shop up, and they had some wood glue left out and she asked for some pear juice and then the guy- went and thought the glue in the thing was the pear juice and she went and drank that. But that's not really news. No. So I thought, well, we're not, not really that. I wish you hadn't told us. There was one about- So there's some poor woman now whose ties have- tiles have fallen off because she tried to put them up with pear juice. Yeah. See, that's the- that's the danger of mixing up pear juice with toxic glue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your wallpaper and your tiles <laughs> and everything just yeah. fall down. Um, there's, there's also- Be careful, everyone. Be please. careful. There's something about, uh, kids having hamburgers, it makes them fat. Hamburgers- uh, yeah, Hold on. What? you having f food with high fat yeah. content can make you put on weight? Yeah. Don't believe it. You're an idiot. What's so, the next one? Well, no, um, let's play tune, no, let's play tune. Well, you've we'll still got back. to come, you've still got- 
I want to come here in hindsight and you've still got is a tip included, but we've got a bit of uh Well, I think we haven't played anything for a while, have we, in terms of the hip hop hooray no, feature no. that I used to uh, be so popular for. So I thought we'd just re resurrect that for one week only. Heat didn't pick up on that one, they did didn't, they? <laughs> they didn't, did they? they <laughs> no. hip, let me just remind you, hip hop <laughs> hooray was where I played a hip hop track. And then I said hooray or Yeah, no, well no, I think no, you no, didn't, didn't even know that. Really. Brilliant. That's brilliant. a great that's a great thing though. We could add that in, we could phase that in. Maybe at the end of the uh, song you hooray. could Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. No, I'll check it. Featuring Puff Daddy and Little Kim, that's notorious B. I. G. Brilliant. And, uh, notorious. Great, lovely. Carl just uh said to me, Yeah, hey, here's something. You can't hold your breath to death. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried it, Carl? That's <laughs> <laughs> just another little lesson. <laughs> 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 oh. There's someone here who's in a really low ebb. Yeah, they've been listening yeah, to the show, yeah, they were going to commit suicide. Yeah, they yeah. just start holding their breath and thinking, oh, <laughs> oh, screw it. Well, what oh. did you learn in the week, right? I'm always doing all the educating. I asked you, you were talking about watching a programme about jellyfish. <laughs> yeah. And I said, well, that'll be interesting. I'll try and find some stuff out, but I couldn't find anything that I didn't already know about them. <laughs> <laughs> it must be difficult for you to find anything you don't already know. So what 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 did you learn about jellyfish? I, I agreed with you by the end of it that they should be wiped off the face of the earth because they're balls of water in membrane, right, that go around stinging people to death. Huh. Let's lose them, Carl. Let's lose the jellyfish. Yeah? That's, that's what I think. Because mm -hmm. I, I was stung mm -hmm. by one, did it, you know? Oh, you got stung by yeah, one? Yeah, I yeah, was yeah, on holiday yeah. and got stung by one. Yeah. And I, d I don't understand. No, don't you're not. I'm not a fan of them. Yeah. So that's, that's that. <laughs> good. Well, <laughs> let's sort it out the jellyfish conundrum. We've <laughs> solved that particular worry. Right then, yeah. so, uh, take your pick then. I asked him if he could have any animal the other day. Did I ask him on air as well? Don't know. Off air, he <laughs> said, I've got it down to two. Right, and this was, he said, he said uh, what favourite animal we're looking at, or could I own one? And I went, you could own one. And he went, right, but could I own one, or would I have, would I have trouble? I went, Carl, you've got all the expertise, you can just have it in whatever it needs, and you go down there, he went, right, and I won't regret it and get fed up. I said, no, Carl, just what animal, if you could have any animal, what animal would you love? He went, I've got it down to two. I went, what is it? He said, either the rhino or the hippo. What's your logic? Well, I have. <laughs> I, I don't know. That that was then. I mean, ask me tomorrow, and <laughs> I might have two other favourites. Do you know what I mean? When was that? It's a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> when was that? Well, you were there. Yeah, but you know. What so what, what are they today? Quickly now. First quickly, animal comes quickly into your head. Quickly now, any animal I want. You could have any animal in the world. Right. From party, one that's maybe extinct. Anything you want. Right. I might have. Um, I might just for today. Just for today. I might have a scorpion in a in a little box. A little scorpion in a box. No. What's your What's your thinking? It's the chimp every time. It's Just the chimpanzee or the gorilla. No, but have I told you that program about the scorpion? Are Tell they all help each other out? Right. Have Scorpions all help each other out. No, no, no. This is brilliant. Right. Somewhere in the desert. Okay. Um. There's these little. <laughs> in the desert. It's like these little monkeys that are underground or something. <laughs> And there's, there's holes. Is this beneath the planet of the apes? <laughs> <laughs> the fourth in the series. Are they I think, talking apes? Oh, I forget it actually. No, and you've got it wrong anyway. They're not monkeys. There's little monkeys under the ground. <laughs> what monkeys. are they doing down there? They're toiling lizards. into underground mines. They're lizards, if you remember. And the lizard goes to sleep, and the bloke comes along. You've told this, and, he, and the oh, we've done it. All right. <laughs> monkey from monkey. Uh, lizard. Oh, That's oh, what oh, happens oh. in his mind. From lizard to monkey. <laughs> oh, evolution would have been so much easier if Carl was around. Oh, right. uh, turn it into a monkey. I'm up with a lizard. Just so promise me <sighs> once again, Carl, I've asked you before, promise me you'll never have children. <laughs> go on, right, okay. Right, what are you having? Right, what's, what are they again? Is the tip included? Yeah, go on, that one. Right, in Turkey. Nice. Um, <laughs> it's not, actually. Mm -hmm. oh. That's where I went and there was them little fellas after Suzanne in the kitchen. What? <laughs> what do you mean? We stayed in a, we went to Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> You went to Turkey um, and there were some little fellas. Well, they had quite a few sort of midgets working in the kitchen. Why? Um, is, it a, is it a theme? No, is it a theme just, holiday? Just, I don't know. Might get them cheaper or something. Was it? Were they <laughs> so they, they <laughs> were get working. Them cheaper. They were working in the kitchen and one of them fancied Suzanne mm. and kept sort of eyeing her up. Mm -hmm. And she was winding me up saying, "Oh, not eyeing up and down, just eyeing her up." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, no, so what anyway. was she doing in the kitchen? No, it's like a pick pick what you want to eat type buffy, but you have people clearing their tables and that ready for you to come along. Are they low tables? And, uh, <laughs> and, you know, he was just keeping an eye on her. Well, what would he say, though? Was he, he, what was he, was he, it was, was Turkish, so I don't know what he was saying. He but just, he was a, was he, he was, little um, fella, yeah. Did he talk What do you mean, her? a little fella? What do you mean, little fella? Sort of dwarf-like. 
<laughs> Green dwarf, like, he had magic powers or he was four foot. No, what do you mean, Carl? A little bloke, just a, 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 like a normal bloke but small. If you stood him in the desert, you wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> but he'd yeah, be hot and thirsty. Right, Carl. He should no, watch no, out for the monkeys. <laughs> yeah, underground. There's underground what, monkeys, look, look, You can't just say there was a little midget fella who was eyeing up my girlfriend and then leave it. What do you mean? Do, what, what was happening? This is a story to us. This is much more interesting to us. Than and she was deaf, right? And she hit her head. That's much more. I don't understand how this ma how it manifested itself. Did he come over and say something? No. Do you know? You know when it's like girls know, don't they? When when some someone fancies them. What do you mean there was lots of them as well? Do then? they? That's worth knowing. Listen, <laughs> 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 right? Come on, right? So you went into this. You went to this holiday, yeah. Yeah. Wasn't and you went into the, the what the dining room or something? Yeah. yeah downstairs. And you looked dining. over. You thought this is all. There's no one serving. Yeah. And they go, Wait oh, a minute. Hold on. You looked down and there was a little waiter. There was loads of them running around busy. <laughs> Why <laughs> though? Why? Because it was summer. What do you mean? Because it was the summer. They had more they, of them. They on. come out in summer. They come out in summer. What do you mean they had more? What, what do you because mean? Because it's busy, isn't well, it? No, but they hibernate they, in the winter. Why were they all midgets? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't heat stunt your growth or something. No. Uh, well, they just happened to. Maybe it was a thing that they did for tourists or something. I don't know. I just got on with my meal. It was a holiday. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Go on. Right, so, 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 some midget serving. I'm not going to ask any questions. Right. Okay. Yeah. So they're, they're all little fellas running around, and <laughs> this one always was like, you know, oh, do you do you want a new serve yet? You know what I mean? Going out of his way oh, to sort of pretending on oh, the yeah, charm. Yeah, yeah oh. he was going out of his way. The others weren't. Right. Um, I think what was happening is he'd been working with Santa all the winter. <laughs> yeah. This or is like a little summer break. This this one he was your waiter, and so he was being polite to you. Maybe. 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 But what did Suzanne say then? When to well, the she was what using it to wind me up. What was she saying? Always oh, just like you know, look. look he I, may I, be small, but he's well built like a yeah. He's all man. So were you jealous of a midget then? You were jealous of it. It is a bit annoying, isn't it? Why? It wouldn't bother me as much now because I've been with her for ages. Right. But at the time, that might have been one of our first holidays, and it's like you, you don't know, want what, to be going on. I paid for this holiday, walk, yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then uh, you get off with a midget. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yes, so anyway. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because you got chatted up by a bearded lady. So. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell yeah, you what, yeah. I'll tell you what. No, that's got nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say? No, no, what were you going to say? I was going to say the hotel was half bored and maybe. Oh, right. Yeah. I thought you were going to say it's just one of her shortcomings. <laughs> so listen, right? Play, play a record, oh. Carl. <laughs> <laughs> right. Baddy drum boy. Uh, born again. Right, just get this educating Ricky out of the way. So, Turkey, yeah. So what is this again? Th this is educating Ricky as a tip included. Right. Apparently a fellow was on holiday in Turkey. Um, he's just having a normal holiday. Weather's good. You know, he's having a good time. And Waiters are all normal height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's having his meal. He hears a load of screaming going on in the kitchen. Mm, hold on. Has his girlfriend wandered in there? <laughs> and they do, um... With a step ladder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the yeah. the circumcised people in the kitchen and apparently what are you talking about? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Slow down, slow down. We were Sorry. sidetracked there for a minute. What we are you talking about? Well, I'm just excited about two things at once here. One, they circumcised people in the kitchen. <laughs> two, I guessed it was someone losing the end of their knob. <laughs> he did. Yeah. I started <laughs> thinking like Carl Pilkington. Extraordinary. That is amazing. Apparently it was it was going on. It wasn't just a one off either. Well, when I say a one off, <laughs> I mean they did it more than once. Yes. Right. Um, and there was. Um, he was there for a week, and apparently the first night it was quiet, and then the rest of the week, every day, he'd be like having his having his breakfast or even his lunch or even his tea. Yeah. Right? He'd be doing it all day. Oh. You'd be hearing Lunch screams. and breakfast, fair enough for it. Yeah, so it. at tea time. And don't do that. Um, and apparently it's a tradition over there. You can't even make a complaint about it. It's like, well, you should have, you know, should have found out before you you come over See, here. See, I can't believe this is Sorry, true. Sorry, I'm a little I bit lost. The, the, he true. was in a restaurant, uh, in a hotel, and there were people having circumcisions in uh, the in the kitchen. Yeah. In the, is that right? I, 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 I'm even worried that we're bordering on the racist here, suggesting that that is tradition, that Turkish people cut the end of their cocks off in the kitchen. Yeah. At meal times. Mm. I think you're wrong, Carl. This just sounds ludicrous, Carl. No, I don't think it happens everywhere. Right. I think this just in this, oh, this, this, in this hotel. Certain certain places, <laughs> certain hotels, certain hotels. What is it like two star? Yeah. No, I, 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 that, that Why did he go to the foreskin inn? <laughs> <laughs> it was his own fault, wasn't it? <laughs> so that that. Sorry, that that's it, is it? Have they clued? So, so, no, wait, wait, wait. That's the story. Y you educated me, right? <laughs> Once a fella saw some <laughs> Turkish people cutting the tip of their. No, I'm off in the kitchen. Thanks very much. Oh. Thanks very much, Carl. Got any more? Oh. 
Well, there's things you can learn from it. Either don't go to Turkey. No! <laughs> uh, don't have calamari when you're over there. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Oh. Carl, well, you've done it again. Well. Excellent. You too. I love that one. On XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl. Okay, Carl, one more. Can't we just- Don't get the ump, just because so far you've come up with nothing. What's the la last one? Give us the teaser clue again. It was, um, I want to come here in hindsight. I wouldn't have come here in hindsight. Yeah. Right, give me some education. This will be the thing that teaches me something. I can feel it in my bones. Come on. Uh, there's a kid in Kenya. Uh, -huh. uh he was messing about with some beans. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. Control. We guessed that as well. You did, yeah. Um. He's fed up because we've guessed his puns, I think. He put one of them in his ear. Yeah. Um. <laughs> The mum or the dad said, uh, oh, what have you done that for, or whatever. Yeah. Um, so I'll have to take you to the doctors now. So they took the kid to the doctors, and the doctor said, oh, he said, I can get that out, I can sort that out for you. So, um, he took it out, and the doctor said, right, that's, uh, that's three pound <laughs> fifty. And the dad said, I've only got two seventy on me. And the doctor said, right, well, and put, he put the bean back in his, his kid's ear. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what to say, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, a couple of questions from me, very quickly. Are you sure that those were definitely the sums involved, were they? <laughs> well, the equivalent of right. whatever, whatever they deal with in, in Kenya. Yeah. It was the equivalent of, oh, you know. Oh, so, 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 so you, so what currency was it, Carl, that you, you translated into sterling? <laughs> I don't know. No, it, no, it was saying in in the thing. It said the equil equivalent oh, of three pound fifteen, two pound seven. Did yeah. it say that? Yeah. Sorry. Did it like, say that? Yeah. Did Carl look at me? Look at me. Did it say that? Yeah. It said. It said that's that. That was the. Uh, did it say that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it did. It, it, it definitely said that. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. So <laughs> it's just like I suppose. I don't know. I mean, all these things. The idea is, it's not like a lesson. It's like. I'll tell you this, see what you can get from it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, so you yeah. look at what I've told you already, the, the yeah. knights who said shut your face, that's yeah, like- that's, that's amazing. That explains itself. Yeah. Um, turkey with the circumcisions in a restaurant. Yeah. yeah that, that'll hold me in good stead, yeah, go don't, on. Don't, don't go there or whatever. Yeah. This one, um, if you're in Kenya, you don't put beans in your ears or something. I <laughs> doctors <laughs> Or aren't. carry three pounds fifty or the equivalent I mean, of. I, it's just the idea that the doctor put it back in his ear. He, yeah, he forced it back in his ear. So is it still there to this day? I mean, is there any update on that? Story? Or did he go back with the three fifty? I presume he either went and got a, like a second opinion, see if he could get it cheaper, right, or another doctor. Yeah. Or he said, right, I'll come back next week. Yeah. After I've been paid. Or he saw how the doctor did it and thought, well, I'll have a go at that. Sure. I'll get home. Yeah, for free. But he never said what it, how it ended. No. No. But, I mean, I, I, I apologise for this week's, I mean, I, I, I haven't got that much out of it. <laughs> 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 you, you've not been enriched. Oh. Um, it was very, very light. Like I said, there was the, the tug of war, there was a fella in Scotland who had a load of tattoos. <laughs> okay. Is that it? Is uh, that the end of the story? Uh, 98 per cent covered. Right. Just between his toes he didn't have done. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Why not? Because it looks stupid. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just said it just said ninety eight percent um, done. Um, yeah. <laughs> what else? Are you, gonna, are you gonna drop the feature? Are you worried? I'm thinking about it. Don't to drop be, the feature. To be honest with you, he have probably written about this already. This has been a classic. I, I'm con I'm concerned because it's my favourite part of the show. I'm wondering is there something else we could? Is it, what could we do to help you out? Because I just I hate to see it go. Well, we can't really. And he's moving this week with the old fella, so that taking about four yeah. days. I'm worried that you're not. I'm worried you're not looking in the right. Why don't you go to a library? Mm. Quick question for you, Carl. Who is a possible guest on next week's Pilkington? Uh, what are you going to investigate? Like I mean, what about your removals, oh, man? Right, listen. If you, what, if you've had a, a, a experience, it can be anything, right? It doesn't have to be you've seen a ghost. It can be that you've, you, you know, you think you're going to live forever, or you can, you know, do so, any mentalist out there. If you, if you're slightly, you know, wrong, 
If there's something wrong with you, just, um, email, email Carl. Carl. Is it carl.pilkington at xfm.co.uk? Yeah. Carl.pilkington at xfm.co.uk. Would you like to be interviewed on yeah. next week's edition yeah. of Pilkington? If you are a mental of any description, just lonely, bewildered, stupid, just something wrong with you, right, and you've seen something that's, you know, interesting to you but absolute bollocks, then <laughs> please call Carl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Carl Dot Pilkington. Don't let XFM that put you off, by the way. Don't me think, oh, they're gonna take the piss out of me. Just if, you know, in any way, if it's, you know, uh, fodder for us, then call up, because Carl will like you, you'll be friends with Carl, mm -hmm. won't you? Yeah. Quick, the clues, what's the answers? We always do this, we're running so out of time. Don't worry, we've got a tune, and then we'll come back with the answers for sure. Rockbusters. A lot well, of great prizes. Alright, um, we'll have a bit of, uh, cash. Johnny yeah. Cash, one of the prizes we're giving away. Johnny Cash and Desperado. That's from his new album, uh, which is a collection of new songs and covers, which is one of the prizes given away on this week's Rock Busters. And, answers. uh, can we have the clues and the answers and the winners? Yeah. Um, first one was Stop Throwing That Fruit About. Stop Throwing That Fruit About. The that answer is... C B. That was Chuck Berry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course it was. Okay. Right. Yeah, I'll give you that. Um, the one that you've worked out I'll do next. The, yeah. uh, God, you make a load of toast with them. That Grillers. was G. Gorillas. Gorillas, though, innit? Gorillas. Um, and the middle one <laughs> was that Scottish fella's made an error. That was Mystique. <laughs> <laughs> Mystique. <laughs> Mystique. <laughs> So, <laughs> oh. did anyone get that? Extraordinarily, almost all the people who emailed in. I'm really, I'm beginning to right. think it's us then, it's because uh, I, I was thinking mistake. I was thinking muck error yeah. and muck mistake and, but mistake. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, do you want to pick a winner? Yeah, I was going to give it, the, the prizes to uh, Amy Massey, who's uh, from Wiltshire, the West Country. <laughs> Losers down there, probably as weird as you. Yeah. So, uh, she's won and congratulations to her. I'm assuming she's listening online or maybe, uh, via some kind of- We must- well, I think we must have a lot of listeners outside London, cos all these are from Norwich and- yeah. Have we got any listeners in London? Places, you know, it's where there's a lot of inbreeding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing else to do. <laughs> exactly. Norwich and Wiltshire. Well, you know, cheers for that, Amy. Well done. He yeah. waved then when he said that. He did, yeah. He uh, waved. He's, he's working. Little... No, he's working, uh, getting ready for TV. Of course he is, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's so coming. this week? Could, is it, can it be arranged for this week? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll sort it out. Well, I'm busy so. this week, I'm moving. Of course. So yeah. let's, let's talk about that. Right. Um. And you can do, you can do an edition of Cribs. Where you, <laughs> let they get rock stars to show them around their, Oh, we're done, home. we're done now. It's uh, finished. Sorry, was I boring you? What day well, you it's been what pretty day bad today. It's been pretty bad. What are you talking about? Oh, no, pretty, I was pretty talking pretty and you just went anyway. Well, uh, we're still on air. You know we're, we're still on air. We're out of time now. We haven't run out of time. It's six minutes to. I know, but we've got to finish now. Why? Because we've- we always do this. What, 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 what? Why are you getting stressed, Carl? Don't get- you do not cut me off when I'm talking. Whatever you do. Can I just remind you, Carl, it is Ricky's show. Yeah. I know, I know, but as the producer- Ooh, you've well, changed, go Carl. Go on, go on. As the producer, I've got to press this button. Why, though? At six minutes to! Tell me why, tell me why. Because that's when it finishes. What, we've we finish- We've got to clear net for the next- On football, the poster it says football. one to three, it, say, it doesn't say one to two fifty-five. Right. You, you, Carl, you press that button on. Hey!